Hi everyone, in this video of algebraic identities, we are going to study about factorization of algebraic expressions which are of the form x square plus qx plus r and it's actually related to identity 5 which was x square plus in bracket a plus b into x plus ab whose factors were x plus a and x plus b. Now how is it? Look, a plus b is our q and ab is our r. So that's why the standard form is x square plus qx plus r where q is equal to a plus b and r is equal to ab. So now let's try to understand it with the help of questions. Question is factorize the following using identity 5. Our first question is y square minus y minus 6. Now according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r, we can see clearly that x is equal to y over here, q is equal to minus 1 and r is equal to minus 6. That is a plus b is equal to minus 1, ab is equal to minus 6. Now we shall think of two numbers a and b such that their sum is minus 1 and product is minus 6. We can say that minus 3 plus 2 is equal to minus 1 and minus 3 into 2 is equal to minus 6. So a is equal to minus 3 and b is equal to 2, x is equal to y. Substituting these values in identity 5, we shall get y whole square plus minus 3 plus 2 in bracket into y plus minus 3 into 2. So whose factors are y plus in bracket minus 3 into y plus 2. Further we can write y minus 3 and y plus 2. So these are the two factors of the given algebraic expression. Now let's start second question x square plus x minus 72. Now according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r over here q is equal to 1, r is equal to minus 72 and x is equal to x. So clearly a plus b is equal to 1, ab is equal to minus 72. So we have to think of two numbers a and b such that the sum is 1 and the product is minus 72. So we can say 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 and 9 into minus 8 is equal to minus 72. So x is equal to x over here, a is equal to 9 and b is equal to minus 8. Substituting these values in our identity 5, we shall get x whole square plus 9 minus 8 in bracket into x plus 9 into minus 8 whose factors are x plus 9 into x minus 8. So these are the two factors of the given algebraic expression. Now let's start third question. It is given y square plus y minus 132. According to the standard form x square plus qx plus r over here x is equal to y, q is equal to 1, r is equal to minus 132. So clearly a plus b is equal to 1 and ab is equal to minus 132. Now we have to think of two numbers a and b such that their sum is 1 and the product is minus 132. We can say that 12 minus 11 is equal to 1 and 12 into minus 11 is equal to minus 132. Now we have x is equal to y, a is equal to 12, b is equal to minus 11. Substituting these values in our identity 5, we shall get y whole square plus in bracket 12 minus 11 into y plus 12 into minus 11 whose factors are 
y plus 12 and y minus 11. Now let's move to our fourth question x square minus 11x minus 42. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r here x is equal to x q is equal to minus 11 r is equal to minus 42. So clearly a plus b is equal to minus 11 and ab is equal to minus 42. Now again we have to think of two numbers a and b such that the sum is minus 11 and product is minus 42. So we can say minus 14 plus 3 is equal to minus 11 and minus 14 into 3 is equal to minus 42. So x is equal to x over here, a is equal to minus 14 and b is equal to 3. We shall substitute these values in identity 5 and we shall get x whole square plus in bracket minus 14 plus 3 into x plus minus 14 into 3 whose factors are x minus 14 into x plus 3. Now let's move to fifth question p square minus 5p minus 6. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r over here x is equal to p q is equal to minus 5 and r is equal to minus 6. So clearly a plus b is equal to minus 5 and a b is equal to minus 6. Now we shall think of two numbers a and b such that the sum is minus 5 and the product is minus 6. So we can say minus 6 plus 1 is equal to minus 5 and minus 6 into 1 is equal to minus 6. So over here x is equal to p, a is equal to minus 6, b is equal to 1. Substituting these values in identity 5, we shall get p whole square plus minus 6 plus 1 in bracket into p plus minus 6 into 1 whose factors will be p minus 6 into p plus 1. Now let's move to our sixth question which is p square plus p minus 56. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r, our x is equal to p over here, q is equal to 1 and r is equal to minus 56. So clearly a plus b is equal to 1 and ab is equal to minus 56. Now we shall think of two numbers a and b such that the sum is 1 and the product is minus 56. So we can say 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 and 8 into minus 7 is equal to minus 56. So we have x is equal to p, a is equal to 8, b is equal to minus 7 and we shall substitute these values in identity 5 and we'll get p whole square plus 8 minus 7 in bracket into p plus 8 into minus 7 which is equal to p plus 8 into p minus 7. Now let's move to seventh question. It is given x square minus 8x minus 65. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r we can say x is equal to x, q is equal to minus 8 and r is equal to minus 65. So clearly a plus b is equal to minus 8 and ab is equal to minus 65. Now we shall think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 8 and product is minus 65. So we can say minus 13 plus 5 is equal to minus 8 and minus 13 into 5 is equal to minus 65. Over here if you observe x is equal to x now, a is equal to minus 13 and b is equal to 5. Substituting these values in our identity 5, 
we shall get x whole square plus minus 13 plus 5 into x plus minus 13 into 5 whose factors will be x minus 13 into x plus 5. Now let's move to eighth question. It is given x square minus 3x minus 54. So according to the standard form x square plus qx plus r over here x is equal to x, q is equal to minus 3 and r is equal to minus 54. So clearly a plus b is equal to minus 3 and ab is equal to minus 54. Now we shall think of two numbers such that their sum is minus 3 and product is minus 54. We can say minus 9 plus 6 is equal to minus 3 and minus 6 into 6 is equal to minus 54. Now we have x is equal to x, a is equal to minus 9 and b is equal to 6. We shall substitute these values in identity 5 and we shall get x whole square plus in bracket minus 9 plus 6 into x plus minus 9 into 6 whose factors will be x minus 9 into x plus 6. Now let's move to ninth question. It is given a square minus 7a plus 12. So according to our standard form x square plus qx plus r we have x is equal to a over here q is equal to minus 7 and r is equal to 12. So clearly a plus b is equal to minus 7 and a b is equal to 12. Now we shall think of two numbers a and b such that their sum is minus 7 and product is 12. So we can say minus 4 and minus 3 is equal to minus 7, minus 4 into minus 3 is 12. So now x is equal to a, a is equal to minus 4, b is equal to minus 3. We shall substitute these values in our identity 5 and we shall get a whole square plus minus 4 minus 3 in bracket into a plus minus 4 into minus 3 whose factors will be a minus 4 into a minus 3. Now let's move to our last question number 10. It is given p square minus 3pq plus 2q square which we can further write as p square plus in bracket minus 3q into p plus 2q square. Now according to our standard form x square plus qx plus r if you observe closely x is equal to p over here q is equal to minus 3q and r is equal to 2q square. That means a plus b is equal to minus 3q over here and a b is equal to 2q square. Now again we shall think of two numbers a and b such that the sum is minus 3q and the product is 2q square. We can say minus 2q minus q is equal to minus 3q and minus 2 q into minus q is equal to 2 q square because minus into minus will become plus. So clearly we have x is equal to p, a is equal to minus 2 q and b is equal to minus q. We shall substitute these values in our identity 5 and we shall get p whole square plus in bracket minus 2 q minus q into p plus minus 2q into minus q whose factors are p minus 2q and p minus q. So this is how we have solved the questions related to factorization of algebraic expression using identity 5. Thank you everyone.